What has happened in solar pumps is like over the last 20-25 years, the prices of solar panels has dropped drastically and it continues to do so and will continue to do so in, uh, in times to come. And as a result, new uses are coming up. One of those new uses is agriculture. Often what happens in agriculture is grid supply to rural areas, far-flung areas, is harder, is expensive, and managing the power supply is also a challenge. There are several parts of India where there is grid supply to rural areas, but it's very poor quality. So solar just gives you new options and irrigation is incredibly important in India and South Asia. So we wanted to see how solar pumps would work for farmers. High cost of irrigation is a big challenge for agrarian dynamism in eastern parts of South Asia, meaning Bihar, also West Bengal and Bangladesh, or Nepal Tarai. In these areas, farmers are small, they are very poor, and though there's plenty of water, the cost of pumping is very high because you're pumping using diesel pumps. Diesel pumps are inefficient, diesel is expensive, it's a fossil fuel, all the problems. First, what we found was that it had very little maintenance problem, just a panel like there. All you need is to wash or dust the, so that you remove the dust layer and, and it works. And we found in the wheat season that the guys who had access to solar pump were able to provide water timely, got higher yields, around 10% higher yield, and saved a lot of money on irrigation because compared to diesel pump, irrigating with solar pumps was uh, quite cheap. Solar pumps, it has very high capital cost and operating costs are close to zero. Whenever you have such technologies, which in finance terms we would call highly leveraged operations, you want higher capacity utilization for it to be viable. So it was increasing the capacity utilization without threatening the sustainability problem. So here, a technology that makes irrigation more affordable can go a long way in making agriculture more productive, more profitable. And since most of the people here are working in agriculture, it would also be a solution for poverty reduction.